Hi everyone, this is Emmy. I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful coffee filter roses. You're going to need about seven coffee filters, scissors, a strip of wire or a paper clip opened up, and some floral tape, or you could paint one of your coffee filters green with just some craft paint, and a hot glue gun. Fold your coffee filters in half, then separate them and fold them into half again. Fold two of the coffee filters into thirds. It doesn't have to be exact, so two of them into thirds. Fold the remainder of the coffee filters in half again. You'll have two coffee filters folded into thirds and the remainder folded again. So that means that they were folded in half, folded in half, folded in half again. Take your largest coffee filters. You can do more than one at a time. Just do whatever you think. Cut them into a petal shape. Like that. You may not need the seventh one but we're going to go ahead and do cut them and cut it anyway just in case. These are going to be your large petals. Open it up and cut it in half. You'll be left with a heart shape that has two layers. Cut the remaining two coffee filters that were folded into third into a petal shape as well. These will be for the center of your flower. Open the two smaller sections. Fold them up about three quarters of an inch and then about three quarters of an inch again. Do that to both of these shapes. Now we can start our flower. I'm going to work with the opened up paper clip so you can see how that works. Place it in the center of one of your flower sections and poke a hole through so that the bottom of the paper clip comes through. Now place some hot glue inside the fold just to hold that in place. Fold one end of the coffee filter to the center and fold the other one in the opposite direction into the center. Like that. And when they meet, place some hot glue in the center. And that's going to form the center of your flower. Pinch the bottom while the glue is still hot so that it crimps it all tight to the paper clip. Take your next section and form a little pleat in the center of it. Just put a tiny little bit of hot glue there to hold that pleat. Apply a bit of hot glue. Now the thing that you're going to be aiming for now is that you're keeping all the tops level. The tops should all be level. It's no concern if the coffee filter comes up a little bit. We mainly want to keep all of these tops level. So we're going to hot glue that like that. There you have the center of your flower. Fold four of your larger segments up approximately one inch. Apply some hot glue to the bottom. Place the flower lining up the tops and curl around not too tightly. Then pinch the bottom while the hot glue is still hot. Like that. So that's what we're going to continue to do around. We're going to take a segment, apply some hot glue, line up the top, fold, fold around, lightly so that there's extra, then crimp that tightly along the bottom so that your, your 
have some little bit of wiggle room between. Okay. And continue with the remainder of the petals. Fold the remaining petals up approximately half an inch. Apply some hot glue. And attach your petal. Pinch and crimp. Hot glue. them all lined up. Okay, and there's your finished flower. For the bottom of the flower, cut a small section of um, your painted coffee filter, or if you have floral tape, you can just use that, and cut this into leaf shape. And then just cut a little tip off the bottom to open up the center. Like this. Slide it onto the wire and up to the bottom of your flower. Apply some hot glue and smooth it onto the back of the flower. Like this. If you have floral tape, wrap floral tape around your stem. If not, just cut some of your coffee filter into strips and wrap your wire. Hot glue. and then wrap the wire. Hot glue. That. And if you'd like, you could cut some leaves and, and place them along your stem too. Dilute some food coloring in some water. Wear rubber gloves if you don't want your fingers all stained blue. Okay. Open up the center of the flower and paint down the center of your flower. You could do this in pink or blue or yellow. So now we're going to open up into the different layers and we're going to apply some blue just down into the bottom. It will creep up some like that. And you're going to do that all the way around. Until you have as much as you'd like. And that's how your flower looks now. And if you'd like, you could take your brush and on the outer level of leaves, you could just curl some of them. Like that. And there's your finished roses. Wear rubber gloves if you don't want to have blue fingers. So we have one done with the pink center and one with the blue center and one with the yellow center.